Today we are discussing some more predefined rules of conditional formatting. I am using the same sheet which I have used earlier in the previous video to avoid confusion. We have discussed about conditional formatting, this highlight cells rules, top bottom rules. Today we will discuss about data bars, color scales, icon sets and many more new rule and manage rule functions. So start with data. I have selected this. Going to conditional formatting data bars. Data bars are of two types gradient fill solid fill. In gradient fill you may see in the cells here darker at the start lighter at the end higher the value the filling of cell will be higher here the value is very less comparatively in the column values it is less filled here the value is very higher side so comparatively it is on the much more side of filling I am doing this control Z again selecting data going to conditional formatting data bars you can see this we have many colors here we can select any one like solid fills here there is no fading or lighter view of the filling in the background but it is filled on the basis of the value comparatively in the column so we can use here these some methods to identify the trend to format the data to get some insight from the data again i am doing this selecting data going to conditional formatting and here color scale color scale is the method where we can check the trend comparison of the values in full data set in all data set here see i am selecting this here lower the value is on red side and higher the value comparatively in the full data is in greener side this yellow is average the data around the average values are in yellow so i am doing this control z sorry here again selecting the data going to color scale and this is also one thing here you can see the lower the value is in greener side higher the value is on red side so we can observe here on both the color scales wherever i want the data should be on the red side when it is higher we can use this so this will show the increase in values or decrease in values this will give a trend about the data again i am doing control z this is selected conditional formatting and this here only one color is used and the shades is going to from lighter to darker side or from darker to lighter side here also data shows the trend from lower to higher side the greener are the values which is on high side these are the color scales we have seen this data bars now time comes to icon set this is very nice tool to represent our data and 
to present impressively data set here we can use any of these impressive icon sets if i use traffic signal this this will show the data on lower side is on red signal the data on higher side is in green signal and the data which is on average is in yellow so we can use any of these icon sets to represent our data here we can use tower the full tower is for higher side of values now we have seen all these predefined rules and we have used them now if you want to manage some rules predefined rules if you want to change them for your custom values so what we can do see if i use this um first of all i want to clear this now from where i can clear here if i want to clear format from all the sheets i can use this clear rules from entire sheet and if i only want to remove rules from the selected cells i will select this so this is the method here clear rule which earlier have been used okay i'm selecting this again going to conditional formatting i can set i'm using this one okay so going to manage rules we can delete edit rules and new rules edit rules here the values are on percentage basis the green green arrow is for above 67% of the values the red is for below 33% of the values and between above 67 lower 33 the values between them is on yellow arrow so we can use it from this for a number and we may feed some values here so if the value is above 50,000 will be on green and the value below 30,000 will be on red and then between these values will be on yellow apply the conditional formatting has been changed so by this you may change the rule you can manage the rule or delete from there so if you if you want to delete manage rule select this rule delete apply so this is all for conditional formatting practice on data sheet you will get used to using these conditional formatting rules manage them edit them and use according to the data thank you for watching comment please subscribe my channel